Second type is the senior engineer, let's call them, the senior software engineer. In this case, they're, um, the, they're working on the server. Now remember, we talked about programming in games happens on the client, in that fat client. It happens on the server, in the, in the game server. And also, um, there's the database layer. Right, so what we won't show here is the data architect. Um, there didn't happen to be a, um, a listing for a data architect, but we've talked a lot about what it takes to be a good information architect in the past. That goes for, for the data architects in the data layer. So World of Warcraft might hire a front-end guy, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about a front-end guy soon who's working on the client, who's working on the user interface. They might hire a back-end guy who's working, or woman, who's working on the server. What does that person do? Well, they're going to maintain the server. They're going to do the programming on the server. So what do they have to be? What kind of qualifications do they need? Hardcore programmer, right? That goes without saying. Lots of experience in programming. There, you know, they... Now, what's interesting here is if you look through the requirements, it doesn't say degree in computer science. In fact, for the, um, for the artist, it doesn't say degree in art either. This is an industry, and the computer industry in general is an industry, where it counts much less what degree you have and much more what you can do. And so you all are in school, you're all studying this or that, and if you wanted to be in this industry, what you'd have to know is that you'll be competing against people who maybe have less formal education than you do, but they have a lot more practical experience. So what can you do during your education to get that kind of practical experience that will allow you to go head-to-head -head with people who have worked in gaming companies for, you know, 10 years? You're, you're just coming out of a university degree, they're coming out of a gaming company for 10 years, why do you compete well with them? You compete well because you have formal knowledge, but in addition, you've also managed to get some experience. So getting practical experience in the computer industry is really, really important, having stuff to show. And it doesn't necessarily mean having worked, it means being able to prove that you can do it. Writing, if you're a programmer, writing that game algorithm that's really sophisticated that you can show um, knows that you know how to, how to work it. Okay, so very creative in addition to being very hard, a very hardcore programmer. So <laughs> the kinds of people that are successful in this field are not your typical, you know, um, narrow-minded, very focused people. They're, they're people who cut across disciplines. The artistic people have to be technical and the technical people have to be creative, you know, because they're, they're coming up with new things. It's not just, I'll tell you what this machine needs to do and you make it do it. It's, what does the machine need to do? What's the next thing? What's, what's really cool that this machine has never been able to do before that you, the engineer, are going to make it do? So a lot of creativity there. Um, all, the perfect, all the jobs here have the same criteria of, you know, jolt addict, never sleeps, will put 110% of their effort into this thing, will be completely dedicated to it to the exclusion of the rest of their lives. Um, unfortunately, I think, unfortunately for the people who work in the computer industry, that's part of the job description of many, many jobs, especially in dynamic startup um, companies who are reaching for something really large. Your ability to become completely enmeshed in their world and eat, sleep, drink, and poop their ideas and their world and their procedures is what they're really looking for. So in this technical person, very creative, but also very technical, a hardcore programmer, never sleeps, and also a hardcore networker. So remember, we talked originally what are computers. Computers are software and computers are also networks, right? The software is software engineering, but networks have their own whole uh, skill set and their own whole knowledge base of how to make a server work. And you know what's going on with World of Warcraft. It's massive, just like Facebook and Google. They're very massive applications and they require you to be able to do things with servers that maybe have never been done before to make them work harder, work faster, uh, scale more effectively to thousands and millions of people using them simultaneously. So the kinds of people who are successful here are not only geeks for software, they're also geeks for networks. Okay, first kind of person is the artist, but they have to be very techy as well. Not techy so much as expert tool users, I think I really like to put it that way. Second is the hardcore engineer. They're obviously very, very well versed in computer science, but they're also highly creative and they're also really, really motivated. 